the five things that people want most out of retirement. Not everything, but what they want most. All right, you moderate maniacs, let me know. Leave me some comments. What is it that you want most out of retirement? Let me know. Very curious on this. Now, I got these five from a company called TIAA. They did a survey from people between 55 and 68 that plan on retiring in five years. So before I say what they are, let me know if you can guess the commonality, the common denominator between all of these wants. Well, obviously you'll know after you watch a video, right? But in the comments, let me know what you thought before I started these and then at the end. Number one, 96 people, yes, you too. My Ravens want this first one too. 96% of people want flexibility in retirement. They want to be able to do whatever it is they want to be able to do. That means anything. Now, if you're on moderate retirement, like most of the people watching this channel are, and for any of you who are looking for a channel dealing with moderate retirement, think about subscribing and also like the video. So for those of you like me that are on moderate retirement, you can be flexible, but only up to a certain level, let's say, all right? It's not like we're sitting on five million bucks, right? Well, let's go to the south of France next week. No, we can be flexible, but within reason, right? Can't just go off and do anything we want. But how nice is it to be able to be flexible in whatever you can do in retirement? You've got all these options. Guys, as I say over and over again, it's all about options. All about options. You don't have to do 90% of those things that you can do. But if you have the option, it opens up the whole world to you. It makes you feel less claustrophobic, right? So that's number one, 95% want freedom from financial worries. Now think about it, you know, before you retired. And again, these are people that plan on retiring in five years, especially in that time frame. Were you worried about if your finances were gonna make you through retirement or not? I know I was, I was still working on saving, saving, saving. You know, at the end, I, like I said, I was up to like 23, 24, 25% of my salary for the last two, three years. But I was worried, wouldn't you love to have freedom from financial worries? Now, what some people do, and I'm okay with this, if you do want to do it for a portion of your retirement savings, is they'll take a portion, or actually, you know what? Some people will take a large amount. I'm not up for this, but some people get an annuity because that will bring you in guaranteed money every month while you're in retirement. If you want freedom from financial worry, that might be an option for you. But I suggest if you wanna do that, do that with only a small portion of your retirement savings. Don't go crazy, okay? You want most of your money to still be able to work for you guys. It's gotta work for you in retirement. Yes, when you retire, you've reached the end game. You have won the game. Don't get crazy, but you still need your money to work for you when you're in retirement, you know? Right now, like I've always said, I'm about 60, 40 uh, stocks to bonds. As I go retire, as I go into retirement, I'm gonna make that more conservative. For some of you, that might be too conservative. You might be 80, 20, 75, 25. You know, I got an MBA. You think I'd be able to know this stuff right off the top of my head. But whatever it is, guys, Freedom from financial worry is the number two thing retirees want the most in retirement. However you go about doing that, think about that. Number three, 93% of people that were surveyed want to spend time with their family. Obvious, right? That might have been number one on my list if I was thinking about it beforehand. They want to spend time with their family. I mean, unless you're in not a great relationship with your family, who doesn't, right? And when you're working, how much time do you really have to spend with your family? Well, of course, the nuclear family, yes. But let's say, you know, 
father and your father and mother, your children's grandparents. How much time do you have to spend with them when you're still working? This is the wish of so many people. In this case, 93% of all respondents want to spend more time with their family and they don't want to have any blocks on that. Oh, we got three days. We'll take a three day weekend. We'll go visit grandma. No, they want to be able to do it at their leisure whenever they want. Hey, we'll take a week and we'll go visit grandma. Or you might visit distant cousins, whatever. You might even arrange like a family reunion when you're retired. You got all the time in the world, right? So that's number three. Number four, 92% of these people responding, they just want to relax. Makes sense to me, man. I'm a lazy slug most of the time. I'm all about relaxing, you know? You just want to relax after all those years of go, go, go. You know, I mean, struggling to meet ends meet in some cases. You know, most people go through that, right? Especially when they're younger. They just want to sit back and relax. Take a deep breath. Smell the sagebrush around you like I'm doing right now. And so much it's making me kind of hoarse because I'm allergic to sagebrush. They just want to relax. Makes sense, right? After all those years of working. Makes sense. Number five. 80%, let me look at my notes. I'm covering up my notes. 80% want to have time to travel. Well, when you're retired, you got all the time in the world, but will you have the money to travel like you want to travel? Now, for those of us on moderate retirement, as I've said over and over again, take one, maybe even two big vacations a year. Okay, how about one and a half? when you retire on moderate income. The rest, make them short little stops, you know, so you're not spending all this money. For those of you who have enough money, you know, to be able to travel when you want, great. But 80% of respondents, they just want to have the time to travel how they want, when they want, you know, it makes sense, right? Um, so those are the top five. Can you, do you know, have you thought of the common denominator that ties all those, all those together? It's planning. It's all planning. I say it over and over on this channel. It's all planning. If you plan well, you can take those five and just check them off your list, right? If you don't plan well, you can't. Before I forget, let me give you a couple other percentages that these kind of cropped up and you're kind of going, hmm, makes you think a little bit. 47% of respondents are planning on only 20 years of retirement. Now, okay, can you hear this guy clearing brush behind me? Is it annoying? It's annoying the hell out of me, let me tell you. They're only planning on 20 years of retirement. Guys, that's, that's not enough. People are living much longer nowadays. You gotta plan for at least 30. And those of you retiring early, like 55, 50, 45, you got to bump that way up to 40 and above years for retirement. 47% of the respondents are only planning for their retirement to last 20 years. That's concerning. So what do you do if you retire at 65 and you get to 85 and you run out of money and you're going to live to your 92? It's not going to be a good seven years, is it? No. Another concerning statistic only 21% of those respondents think their savings will last their whole lifetime. If that's what you think, what the hell are you doing? I mean, plan, guys. It's all about planning. You know, if you, the earlier you start planning for retirement, the better. 21% think that their savings will last their whole lifetime. That's a scary statistic, isn't it? Plan, plan, plan. You know, if you over plan, so what? So you're left with a chunk of money at the end of your life. Either you give it to your dependents or hey, you can donate it, right? Whatever you want to do, but it's much better than to have too much money than not enough, right guys? So think about it. There you go. Those are the top five and two concerning statistics that hopefully you guys watching me don't have because I know you're planning, right? You're planning from very early age. And if not, 
start planning heavily now. And if you're not sure of it, go to a fee-only financial planner who is a fiduciary so they can walk you through the steps. The earlier, the better. Think about it, guys. Let's say you pay 300, 500 bucks even for an hour, maybe an hour and a half of a, of a financial planner. In the long run, is that gonna even matter? If you can feel so much more peace of mind, and if you're sure that your retirement nest egg is gonna last longer than 20 years because you plop down 350 bucks for an hour of his time or her time, that's a good place to be. You're not gonna miss that 300, 500 bucks 10 years down the line when you're sitting there relaxing, having your little hot toddy. So remember guys, it's all about planning. As I always say, I know you're bored by it, but I'm gonna keep saying it. And just remember as always, we got this.